Hey, if you're a graphic designer and you're looking for a unique way to drive in more business, to get better clients for more money, this is the video that you wanna watch. I wanted to do something unique and make a video and make a tutorial about tutorials and how you can use tutorials to grow your graphic design, web design, or motion design business. And so that's what today's video is about. We're gonna go through the steps. I'm gonna help you understand the process that you need to do, the what, the why, and the how. We're gonna keep it fairly short, but I wanna make sure that you get enough information to actually be able to utilize this and put this into action with your business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So tutorials, I'm sure you've watched many of them on YouTube in your time, you've probably learned a lot. If you're like me, a lot of the skills that you've learned have come from places like YouTube. I'm one of those visual learners where I have to see something myself be done in order for me to actually understand it. I'm not just gonna be able to read it out of a book and know how to do it. So tutorials, especially video tutorials online are super, help, super helpful for people like me. And I know they're going to be not just helpful for people like you, but also for your potential clients. Believe it or not, people that are looking for graphic design work are gonna be looking up people on YouTube, the experts in the field, and they're gonna be looking for the best experts. And those are the type of clients that you want. People who are not going to Craigslist or Fiverr or Upwork or any of those garbage websites out there. You wanna send people to a website like YouTube where you can be the authority. And the powerful thing about tutorials is whether you decide to put your face on there or not, I highly recommend putting your face in the video, but if not, you can just have your voice, is you can share your inflections, your passion, and your body language you're gonna miss without having the video of you, but body language is a big part of communication and the technical knowledge of what you're specifically talking about, about the design program that you're picking. So tutorials are a really good way to position yourself as an expert, as an authority in your field, and I wanna encourage you to take action on this. So why should you do tutorials besides the things I told you? Well, one, it's gonna help you improve your skills. You can start documenting all the graphic design work that you're doing. Just start recording everything. Don't just pick here and there, oh, I'm gonna document this one, I'm gonna document that one. You wanna document your journey of where you're starting to where you are today, and you can't do that by unless you start today. So I want you to start today documenting your journey, all of your projects. There's a couple ways that you can do that, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute, but it's important that you actually document your journey because you're gonna actually prove the skills that you have as a graphic designer, motion designer, and web designer by doing these tutorials. The second thing, by doing that over and over and over again and recording them, you're gonna improve your skills because you're practicing. You're putting in those reps and you're gonna get more and more comfortable with being on video. Maybe you start with just your voice in the beginning and after a certain amount of time, you get a camera like I have that you're sitting here watching me on or you get a second camera like this that you sit there and watch yourself and you record yourself on. This is a really good way to just share your body language, share that inflections and share your passion, right? I can be big and really animated with my arms. You can't do that if you don't show your face on video. So if you're introverted and you're shy and you don't wanna have your face on there, then that's okay. But if you wanna show more of your personality and differentiate, differentiate yourself as a person, then video is a really good way to do that within your tutorials. Now, this is the next thing differentiating yourself in the marketplace. You gotta look at your competition of other people that are making videos and find what it is that you do that makes you different. What industry are you in? Are you in the fire and water damage? Are you working with business owners? Are you working with agencies? Are you working with small mom and pops? Are you doing wedding invitations? What kind of graphic design, web design, or motion design are you actually doing? Niching down into a specific vertical within your industry on those tutorials is gonna help you a lot. When I did tutorials about four or five years ago for the first time, I was just testing the water to see if I can get some traction. I did one for how to remove the headshot from a photo. And this goes into the keywords conversation that I wanna have with you, is that's a perfect example of what we call a long tail keyword. How to remove the background from a headshot. I did that video, put it up on YouTube, and within a month, I had three phone calls, one of them actually became a client, from a law firm that had hundreds of attorneys working for them, that wanted us to remove all the backgrounds from their headshots. And so we landed that project. It was worth thousands of dollars and that all came from that one tutorial video and it was a huge company. It wasn't a little mom and pop type of company that you're gonna find on Craigslist or any of those little mom and pop sites. This was a legitimate company that was a startup that had a ton of employees and a ton of attorneys working for them. So you can get really, really good clients from there but you gotta target the right keywords. The second type of keyword that you can go after is a short tail keyword. You could do something like, 
uh, logo design or vector logo design or vectorizing a logo. That's a much shorter keyword that you can put into your system and actually make a tutorial for that. And then when people find it and they're looking to have their logo vectored, they may come to you. They may come to comment. They may go to your about page and see your email on there and email you. They will reach out. If they like you, they like your personality, they like your passion, they're gonna reach out and connect with you. And the last one again is with your industry. I said in the very beginning of this, Google and YouTube are search engines. Search engines are really, really powerful for you to drive that traffic that's already happening. People are looking for a solution to their specific problem they have and video versus text. That is the only real difference between YouTube and Google is Google is all text results and with YouTube, you have video results. All that content can be transcribed. It can be turned into more content, micro content for your social media. It's really gonna help you build your brand and build your authority in your space on social media and on YouTube and other places like your website. So it's a really, really good tool, but it's important that you understand that the way you rank on YouTube is through keywords. It's a keyword driven thing and you need to make sure that you're going after one specific audience, just like I'm going after designers here on this channel, graphic designers, web designers, motion designers. My passion is to help my fellow designer and that's what's helped me build my reputation and my following because of YouTube. If I hadn't have done YouTube, I wouldn't have the income or the team that I have today. And so I only started this about 18 months ago of doing YouTube videos consistently and it's absolutely exploded my business. So this is a really good opportunity for you to do the same. I want you to be my competition because like they say, rising tides raise all ships. And I wanna see you guys raise to the highest levels that you possibly can as well. So the last piece of this is the how. How do you make tutorials? There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. So I'm gonna hop over to my computer here. And I'm just gonna show you. So I can hit on my Apple, shift command five, and it's gonna pop up a little dialog box and it's gonna give me the option to capture my entire screen. It's gonna give me the option to record my entire screen, partial screen, whatever I want here. And then it's gonna allow me to connect a different microphone, but it's not gonna record video of me. It just doesn't have that possibility right now with the free function that you have on your MacBook. I believe there's the same thing on a PC laptop type as well. But I don't know how to do it because I'm not a PC guy anymore. I'm a Mac guy. So you can do this on your Mac very easily. You just hit the record button and now you have the recording feature going on your computer here. The second way, and this is another free way to do it, is Screencast-O-Matic. I can actually just pull up Screencast-O-Matic real quick. Forgive me for all my tabs. Screencast-O-Matic.com. You go there, you can download the program, and actually I think there's even an extension that you can download. It's a free, free program, but it's gonna give you a maximum recording length of about 15 minutes. So if you have a 30 minute, 45 minute tutorial, you're gonna need to break it into multiple videos and stop the recording and start it again and then continue on and then piece that all into one main video with whatever video software that you use. But it's really nice to actually have a paid version of a screen recording software that lets you do a video of you. Screencast-O-Matic will let you do a video of you, but it's actually a lot better to use something like Camtasia because they have features like hotkeys where when you push a key on your keyboard, you can have that actually show up in the tutorial, which is something that I'm working on as well. I'm trying to get those into my videos. It's a little tricky, tricky. it's a little technical, but a lot of these programs are gonna have learning curves. So if you wanna use Camtasia, I highly recommend it. I've been using it for a while now and I'm trying to get better and better at that program. I'm still learning it, but it's a really good way for you to make tutorials. You can show your video, you can show your entire screen, you can pause, you can do animations. There's all kinds of really neat stuff inside of Camtasia that you can take advantage of. So I wanted to make sure that you understand how to do this. If you want a more technical understanding of how to build and do a tutorial, I'll make a separate video for that, but I need to know that that's actually something that you wanna see because this channel is all about providing you guys solutions for things that you actually are needing help with. So if there's something you need help with outside of this, please drop a comment, introduce yourself, let me know what you need, and I'm here to help you. So I hope this really helped you guys out. Just make sure you understand that using tutorials can help you really position yourself as a premium brand or as an expert in your field. It's gonna help you improve your skills. It's gonna help you showcase your skills and it's gonna help you position yourself differently. Go after the right keywords, long tail keywords, short tail keywords, and industry specific keywords, and then find a software that's gonna work best for you and just start. The key is done is better than perfect. You just gotta get started. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So just wanna share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because I got a lot more content coming three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.